and welcome back to Wranglers Baseball. We are in the playoffs here in Super Mega Baseball 2 season mode. This is actually episode 7 and somehow, someway, we made it to the playoffs. We started out our season. We're going to go ahead and continue here. We started out our season 7-1, and one, kind of playing on a split level ego kind of 43 and some, you know, basically for hitting and pitching. Uh, and then the other two, which is, I think is base running and fielding at about 25 and ultimately went seven and one. So we made a change up to 50 and I decided no matter what, I was going to play out the rest of the season and the playoffs on 50. And so we went one and seven in the second half of the season. And somehow some way, some way with an eight and eight record, we made it to the playoffs, and we're going up against the Aquatics, who interestingly was one of the teams that uh, we actually, that was the only team that we beat on 50 Ego. So we're going to open up the playoffs against the Aquatics. This didn't quite work out the exact way that I thought. Uh, you know, I initially thought that uh, we would have, uh, you know, the top two teams from the Beach Division and the top two teams from the Mountain Division uh, make the playoffs, but that's not quite how it worked out. Uh, so ultimately, we've got the Wranglers and the Aquatics. The Aquatics was the only team that made it from the beach division. So technically, the decision and or your help in deciding where you want to go on vacation, uh, the beach or the mountains could be decided here in the semifinals. Uh, if the Aquatics beat us, which, un uh, which hopefully will not be the case, uh, they obviously would go on to the finals and then you would have a legitimate mountain division versus beach division finals. But uh, if uh, we have our druthers and we are able to beat the aquatics here in the semifinals, then obviously we would go on to the finals and would face either the logman or the forester. So it would be an all mountain division finals. And obviously you'd be going to the mountains on your vacation. So <laughs> that's where things kind of stand at this point. We are going to play game number one here in our semifinals match. It is a best of three. And we will see how things go uh, in game number one here. We do have our starter pitch, starting ace pitcher Havoc Middleman facing Withers Carpenter in this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this thing. Very excited. We do want to make one quick change here. It is time to put... Um, whoops. It is time to put back uh, in our starting catcher, who is John Johns. He was a little bit uh, tired and kind of sitting in neutral, or not neutral, he was just sitting really low fit-wise. And so we, we replaced him in the last two games that we ultimately lost. I don't really know that he would have made the difference, uh, but we need to get him back into the lineup for sure. So that change is now made, and let's get into this game being played at Colonial Plaza which is the Aquatics home field. And again, this is going to be a best of three series. This is game one. Uh, we will try to see if we can get uh, through maybe a couple of games uh, here and see if we can uh, make it and move on to the finals. But obviously we would have to win two in a row with that 50 ego. We've been struggling again. We've only won one out of eight games uh, on 50 ego but I told myself I wasn't going to change it and so we're finishing out this season uh, and so here we go inning number one we're going to have Menace Reef, Nickel King and Shaz Hatter up to bat here to start let's go ahead and get into this game I hope that uh, Menace Reef can get things going I don't know if the mojo resets here but he is currently at neutral we have learned that we need to be a little bit patient here on a 50 ego with batting. Oh, there's strike number two. Maybe too patient now. That's going to be ball two. So count is now two and two. And there is our hit to second base over to first. And that is going to be out number one. And that is going to bring up Nickel Keen. It looks like maybe the mojo kind of reset. It either reset or that's just where these players stand, I guess. We'll see as we move on here. Catches the inside corner there for strike number one. Tries to hit that same spot for ball one. That's low for ball two. Ooh, catches that corner. I don't know about that one. Two and two now. 
Ooh, nice pitch, and that is going to be a strikeout for Nickel King. And that is two up, two down here to start for the Wranglers. Shaz Hatter now again. He is neutral as well. I think the mojo resets here in the playoffs. I did not know that. Ooh, that's not a good start. There we go. One and two now. That looked low. That's fouled off at least. Ooh, and there we go. Shaz Hatter hits one out to center field for a base hit with two outs. I don't really know if that's going to matter at this point, but that is going to bring up Jack Lopez, who I know prior to the playoffs was hitting the ball really well, so I'm almost positive now that uh, everything resets in the playoffs. I did not know that. Ooh, two strikes here to start. I should pay attention. Whoop. And that's a quick three pitches, three strikes, and an out. And that is going to end the inning there for the Wranglers. Havoc middle, middleman, our pitcher, is going to be playing, going up against Churnley, Despo, Depo, and Davis, it looks like. Here to start the game. Let's see if we can get things going here right away. I'd like to see Havoc middleman kind of get back into a groove pitching. He started out the season really well, but then kind of tailed off second half of the season. Nice pitch there. Let's come high and inside. There we go, ball two. This Churnley just kind of not waiting on pitches here. There we go, strike two. Two and two now. What do we want to go with here? Let's see if we can fool her up top and high. Oh, that was a strike. That was so a strike. Come on now, ump. And there is a base hit there to Menace Reef, who gets it over to first. Shouldn't say a base hit. I should have said a grounder over to Menace Reef. Gets it over to first base for out number one. And that is going to bring up Depot or Despo or Despot. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Swept. Des Despo, De I don't know, Despo. It's coming back to the outside edge there. And that one is hit over there to first base to Nickel King for the out. And that is going to bring up now Bro Davis. He's got some good power, so we don't want to mess up and throw one down the middle here to this guy. There's strike number one. Let's come back to the outside and low. Ooh, he pops one up. Let's see if Nickel King can get over there. And, oh, tried to dive at the last second. Couldn't quite get there. But that has two strikes. Let's go up and high. And got him. Strike number three. He tries to break his bat. And that is going to end the first inning. Started coming up here in the second is Larry Curtis, Severus Sasso, and John Johns otherwise known as JJ, at least that's what I like to call him. Larry Curtis, kind of middle of the road, power contact speed. There's a strike to start. Inside for ball one. That's gonna be a strike. I'm trying to be as patient as possible, even getting two strikes on, although that was not a smart swing. That would have been a ball to make it a full count, but ultimately, uh, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. I'm trying to be patient, even potentially giving up two strikes and then saying, all right, let's swing. Well, here we go. Severus Sasso's got two strikes. Oh, and a quick swing and an out. That is not uh, a good at bat. <laughs> and here comes JJ now. High pitch there for ball one. Ooh, that one kind of snuck in there in the outside corner for strike one. There's strike two now. Ooh, inside, counting out two and two. Oh, and there was our chance, but that's fouled off. And there was another chance, but that one is missed for strikeout number, or excuse me, strike number three. And that's going to be it for the Rangers here in the second inning. So now moving into the bottom of the second, we're going to see Norwest, Harsh Winter, and March. George Norwest here is our 
guy we're going against here. Again, we're just trying to see if Sh excuse me, Havoc Middleman. He's been. I feel like he's struggling. I don't know. Get over there. That's a fair ball. And that is going to turn probably into a double. Hopefully not a triple here. Nice hit there, right down the line. That's going to bring up Harsh Winter. What position does he play? He plays first base, it looks like. Just kind of curious here. That's going to keep the guy at second. Havoc Middleman picks it up, throws it over to first for out number one. That's going to bring up Jamie March. Let's keep it down and low to the inside. Let's get over there. Nope, that's a foul ball. Try to dive for that one with Nickel King, but not quite there. Let's come back now low into the outside. That wasn't a very good pitch. Hopefully JJ can get to that one, and he does for out number two. Keeping that runner at second, that's what we want to do. That's going to bring up Arsenio Barneswell. That's a nice pitch to the inside. Havoc Middleman over to first, and that is going to be it for the inning. So after the nice double, Havoc Middleman settled down there, able to get uh, three outs in a row there, and that's going to bring up now Dropkin, Middleman, and Reef for the Wranglers here at the top of the third inning. Not a whole lot of offense for either team here to start this game. Maybe we're going to have to be a little bit more aggressive. I don't know. That's strike number one for Dropkin. There's ball one. One and two. Oh, nice pitch there. Nice pitch, strikeout, and that is going to take us now to Havoc. Middleman, the pitcher. Let's see if he can help himself a little bit and get on base here. We've been hitting pretty okay with our pitchers, actually, so hopefully we can do that here with with Havoc. That's two nice pitches in a row. I sure swung on that one. That's high for ball two. Count now two and two. Ooh, jammed me there. Count still two and two. Trying to get that one outside, it looked like. Now it's low. Able to get a nice snag there by the cat, excuse me, by the pitcher. Throws it over to first, and that is out number two. And now we're back to the top of the order. Havoc middleman up to bat. And we're gonna swing. Uh, maybe that wasn't a very good choice. Is that is a quick pop-up to second base, and that is out number three. Not much going on offensively, and we're uh, Moving here into the third inning, Danny Zoner, the catcher, up to bat here. Starting low and inside, strike one. Let's switch it up and go high and inside here. Nice, that is strike two. Let's come with the fork ball. Let's purposely they'll throw it really low. Got him to swing, and that is a strikeout for Havoc Middleman. Nice pitching there. I didn't expect him to swing on that one, but he did. So, nice strike out there by Havoc Middleman. That's a good spot. Back to the outside now and low. There's strike number one. Let's come with a slider high and then the corner. Got him, strike two. And then we're going to finish him off with the fork ball here. Oh, come on, swing at that. Let's come back with the changeup to the outside. Purposely missing on that one because I want to come back high and inside on him here. That's the spot. Got him. Strikeout. Mojo increase. You saw it right above Havoc Middleman's head there. So that is a uh, two strikeouts in a row. Now facing Churnley here. Ball one. Ooh, got her to swing on that one, and that is over to Dropkin, then over to first base, and that is out number three. Quick inning there, just exactly what we want to see. A couple of strikeouts and then a ground out. So that's going to bring up Nickel King, Shaz Hatter, and Jack Lopez. Let's see if we can get Nickel King a base hit here. That would be nice. I feel like he kind of struggled a little bit to end the season. Now let's see if we can get him going here in the playoffs. Inside for ball one. High for ball two. 
Ooh, I don't know. That looked high to me. I don't know. Ooh, that one was jammed inside. That's going to be a pop-up. Second baseman kind of out to center field there for the out. And that's going to bring up Shaz Hatter now. Looks like everything reset for the playoffs. Strike right down the middle. That's going to be high. Ball one. Again, just trying to be patient. Now two and one. That was not patient. That was not patient at all. Ooh, full count. Oh, you kind of booted it there, but still able to get to it. Just not hit quite hard enough. And that's out number two. And Jack Lopez now up to bat. Come on, Jack. Let's get a little something here. Let's go. Need some offense here. That was not a good swing. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit antsy. I'm getting a little bit antsy, folks. Bottom of the fourth. Despot Davis and Norwest. Every time I say swept the name there, I say it different. <laughs> All right. She is 0 for 1 on the day. Havoc Middleman maybe a little bit into a groove here. Let's see if we can continue his groove here in this inning. There we go, nice strike there. Let's come back high and inside. Foul it off there. That's going to make the count now one and two. Let's come with the fork, see if we can get her to swing in. We do got her for the strikeout. And that's going to bring up Bro Davis, who is also 0 for 1. Neither team is really hitting the ball. Get it over there to Menace Reef. And that is out number one, or excuse me, out number two. And that's going to bring up George Norwest. He had the double earlier, so obviously we don't want to give him a chance to hit another one. Foul ball for strike one. Purposely kind of trying to throw that one outside just to come back in inside. There we go, strike two. And then we're going to come with the fork. Down and low. Ooh, come on, swing. Don't be scared. We're going to come with the power pitch there for the strikeout. And that is going to take us to the top of the fifth inning, 0-0. Zero to zero. Thank you guys for coming out and watching. We are in the playoffs facing the Aquatics here in our first playoff series. This is the best of three. This is game number one. Zero to zero so far through four innings. Again, we're trying to be patient here with our hitting. I don't know if that's helping or hurting, as obviously we get two strikes in a row right there. That was a little high, but close. There it is to the outside. Now two and two. And there is our chance, and we hit it right up the middle for a base hit. Finally get another player on. On base there, and that's going to bring up now Severus Sasso. See if we can get him going here. Again, just trying to be patient, as patient as I can be. It's kind of hard when we're struggling, 0-0 zero, zero game. You really want to do, you want to do something, but uh, you also want to play it smart. Now three and one here. Let's come with the power, and we got it out there to the outfield, but it is going to come up just short in the warning track. I haven't used power pitching that much, or excuse me, power hitting that much, but we blasted that one out to center field, but unfortunately just not far enough. That is going to be out number one. Ooh, caught the outside corner there for strike number one. Ooh, inside this time for strike two. Ah, that was three straight strikes in a row. <laughs> Should have probably swung at one of those. Ryan Dropkin now. Two outs. That's four strikes in a row. All right, we're going to have to really start batting here. There we go. And we got the hit, and it bounces off of the shortstop. We're going to keep our runners at bay here. First and second base with Havoc Middleman, our pitcher coming up to bat. We'll see if he can help himself here. Maybe get a base hit. Maybe bring home a run. 
strike number one here to start. That's low for ball one. Count now one and one. That's low again. Two and one now. There is our pitch, and that is going to give us an opportunity here, but not quite down as quickly as we would hope. So that is out number three. Now moving into the bottom of the fifth, still zero to zero. Harsh winter March and Barneswell are going to be coming up to bat here. This is an exciting game. Just hoping. Ooh, nice. That was, I kind of missed that pitch. That was a little nerve-wracking there for a minute. I thought I was going to get blasted, although I get blasted there. Let's get Sasso with the dive. Can't quite get there. Trying to make the crazy play, but that's going to turn into a triple. That's probably not good. Maybe I should have made the safe play and just not dove for that one. But that's going to bring up now Jamie March with a man on third. Maybe not the smartest play in the outfield, but it's done now. we got to move on. Fooled him there. One ball, one strike. We're going to come with the slider up high. Kind of missed that one, but luckily it was just fouled off. Let's come with the fork here and see if we can get him to swing and end this one. But that is going to bring home a run as Menace Reef gets it over to first. And the Aquatics are going to take the lead here one to nothing here in game one of the semifinals. Fooled him there. That's interesting because that's the same pitch I've always started out with. Shouldn't have probably fooled him on that one, but hey, what are you going to do? Come on, swing. Let's come with the curve. We haven't thrown any curves yet. Ooh, got him to swing, but that one, ah, overshot that dive. So that is going to end up being a base hit. Now with just one out, Danny Zoner is up to the plate. Let's go outside first here just to switch things up. Now let's come back inside. Pop up there. Havoc Middleman is going to come over to try to catch this one. And he is going to get there for out number two. And that's going to bring up Withers Carpenter. He is their pitcher, I think. So uh, they're going to bring in a pinch hitter, Navy Push-Ups. <laughs> I love that name. All right, Navy Push-Ups. Let's, uh, let's end this inning. Perfect. Great job, Navy Push-Ups. Got him out. And they're going to bring in now a new pitcher, Matthew Gibbon. He's got some junk, but other than that, not a whole lot. So maybe we can take advantage here. At least I hope so. Top of the order is up here at the top of the six. Menace Reef, Nickel King, and Shaz Hatter. Let's do this thing, guys. Let's get some runs. I feel like now is our opportunity. Pitch right down the middle for strike number one. Should have swung at that one. There is our opportunity. Get down. Ooh, that was a little bit close, but Menace Reef gets on base with the base hit. Nice hit there to start the inning. That's going to bring up Nickel King, who is 0 for 2 on the day. Contemplating here whether or not I should bunt it. Let's bunt it. Ah. Get down. That's going to be two outs. <laughs> Oh, no. Trying to move the runner, and that completely backfired. That's disappointing. Shaz had her right up the middle for a base hit. Maybe now we can uh, get Jack Lopez, sorry, Jack Lopez to do something here. We completely botched that whole thing. That was a nice pitch for strike number one. Ah, nice hit there to second, but he is going to easy throw to first for out number three. And that is going to take us now to the bottom of the six. The Aquatics still leading one to nothing. Churnley, Despo, and Davis coming up to bat here. Churnley currently 0 for 2 on the day. Come right back with a changeup, kind of the same spot. Strike number one. 
Now let's come back to the outside. Let's see, strike number two, there it is. Let's come high and inside. Swing at that. All right, we'll come with the fork. Ooh, got her to swing. And that is gonna be out number one. Touch and go play there for a moment, but we got it. And that's gonna bring up Swept here. She is also 0 for 2 on the day. Let's make her 0 for 3. Let's go high into the corner there for, ooh, she hits it there. Another one over there to first. That is gonna be out number two. Now Bro Davis up to bat. He's fast, you don't really wanna give him a chance for any extra bases because he'll probably take advantage. Change up, that's not a good pitch. Dang it. <laughs> right as I say it, on cue, you don't want to give him any chances for extra bases. <laughs> he gets extra bases. That is a double. I should stop talking because I feel like I'm jinxing myself. George Norwest now up here to bat. <laughs> Got to get this out. And that one is skyrocketed up there to left field for Jack Lopez, who gets that for out number three. That is going to take us to the top of the seventh. And this is going to be it here for the Wranglers. If you don't already know, we've been playing a 16-game season, just seven inning games. My thought process is well, I wanted to kind of get through our first season somewhat quickly, just to kind of get a feel for the game, get a feel for how things go. And so that's where we stand. So this is the Wranglers' last chance here. Nice start here, at least for Larry Curtis. Ball three. We're gonna let him throw. Let's let's walk him. Nice one. That's a good way to start the inning. It's gonna bring up Severus Sasso. Had a monster hit out to the warning track, but of course was caught. So that wasn't uh, great by any means. There's strike number one. Ah, nice pitch. That was strike two. Inside for ball one. Oh, got me with the same exact pitch. Yikes, nice pitching. John Johns, JJ, hasn't played the last couple games. He's our catcher, he's been tired. Uh, let's go, buddy, you've had a rest. Let's, let's do something. Ball two. There's a strike. Oh, that's just a blooper. That's going to be a double play, and this game is going to be over. Oh, man, what a way to lose that one as the Wranglers lose here in game one. Very quick game. At least it felt like a quick game. The Wranglers are going to lose this one one to nothing. So best of three. Aquatics pull out the first one here. One to nothing at at their home field. Tough loss here. Not bad pitching by any means by either team. Havoc Middleman, uh, player of the game for us, uh, but also uh, their pitchers, Withers, Carpenter, and Matthew Gibbon are, are their players of the game, obviously, because they gave up no runs today. <laughs> It's a very ex exciting start to the playoffs, but also a little bit disappointing as we lose this one one to nothing.